Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. This weekend, presidential candidate Barack Obama will head to Selma, Alabama to commemorate the civil rights marches of 1965. His Democratic rival, Hillary Clinton, will be there too. But Obama told the early show's Tracy Smith his appearance is personal, not political. As you set out for Selma, a new poll shows that you're gaining support among African-American voters, kind of chipping away at Hillary Clinton's lead. How do you capitalize on that this weekend? Well, you know, I think this weekend is actually not about politics. When I was originally invited, uh, I was thrilled because John Lewis is a hero of mine. Uh, when I trace back how I got involved in public life, a lot of it is rooted in uh, memories of the civil rights movement. I was too young to participate myself, but. It, it, to me, uh, it represents some of the best moments in American history where ordinary people stood up uh, to injustice. And so uh, I'm just thrilled to be able to participate in this process. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, it won't be the last time and I can bring my kids down uh, sometime so they can march as well. You know, at the same time, everything tends to end up being about politics. Right. Is this a chance to answer some of those critics who said you haven't been connected enough to the African-American community? Well, you know, the truth is, is that uh, a lot of that has been uh, stuff at the national level. It's not based on the work that I've done in Illinois. You don't hear that chatter back home where I'm well known. Uh, the fact is I just haven't been on the national scene that long, which means that uh, people are still going to get to know me and my track record. Uh, and as they get comfortable understanding the work I did as a state legislator, as a civil rights lawyer, I think we'll do just fine. But the important thing from my perspective is that we're going to be competing uh, for voters everywhere. Uh, and uh, we think that we'll do very well among African American voters. We think we're going to do well among voters generally. Overall. Yeah. You know, Hillary Clinton is speaking as well this weekend in Selma. You guys just had your first major dust up in a lot of people's opinion. I'm not sure how major it was. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, David Geffen's comments to Maureen Dowd. Did how that was handled kind of speak to how this race is going to be run, do you think? Especially the other camp, how they're going to run this race? Yeah, my sense was the story was overplayed. Uh, overplayed by who? Well, I think the media had fun with it. Uh, the truth was that, um, you know, somebody who had done a fundraiser for us said something uh, about the Clintons that we had nothing to do with. Uh, I told my staff that in those kinds of situations, we should just show some restraint and uh, refrain from some of the snappy comebacks. Uh, I think that. So, do you think did your campaign make a mistake by responding? Well, you know, I think that we, we should have responded, uh, but in in a more restrained way. I, I think uh, uh, you know, there's there's a habit uh, to try to uh, engage in one-upsmanship uh, in dueling press releases, and I think that's uh, not the way I'd like to see our campaign focus uh, because. On the same day that this happened, Tony Blair announced that he was pulling troops out of Iraq. There was a report uh, that our health care uh, system was going to double in costs over the next decade. Those are the issues that I think voters are really focused on, and that's where I want to stay as much as possible. So that won't happen again, this back and forth, you think? Well, the, I, I am sure that during the course of this campaign, uh, you know, there's always going to be some tussles uh, and some dust-ups because that's the nature of politics. Uh, but, you know, what I'm convinced of is that if we're talking about the issues that matter to the American people, uh, we will do well. I mean, the reason we're getting 20,000 people down in Austin to come hear me speak, or 10,000 in L.A., or 8,000 in Cleveland, uh, is not because they're concerned about inside baseball. It's because they're hopeful that we can create a new kind of politics.